Welcome back. I've got another video here for you. Um, just wanted to show you how I prepare um, eggshells, uh, prepare them for compost, to get ready for compost. Okay, so first of all, and I've already done this, I don't want to have the water running too much, um, but just for purposes of demonstration, what I do, these are eggs that I used this morning for breakfast. Um, I used them for scrambled eggs. And so now I have these shells. And um, these are especially helpful for compost um, because of the calcium in the shell. So some people bake them um, to kill any bacteria. Others boil them um, for a couple of hours. But what I simply do um, when I'm not doing the boiled eggs and I've got yolk in there is I simply wash each one and um, wash each one of the insides I um, break the little membrane and you can do this um, with a just a tiny bit of bleach if you'd like and um, put it in soaking water and wash them that way um, but anyhow so you'll wash each one until they feel because right now they feel a little slimy or when you um, initially break the yolk out and then start putting them in a bowl now I've already washed all of these and um, you know release the yolk in there so what I'm gonna do is just place them in a bowl now in this bowl what you don't see is I've put a little bit of antibacterial soap um, dishwashing soap now I have a few of these bottles this one's already near empty but I like to use the antibacterial soap this one kills it says 99.9% .9 of bacteria um, and I'll squirt a little bit in there now that I put a little bit of water in because I used to wash my hands um, and I don't want it to concentrate it and then I just drop all of my eggshells in there my um, pre-washed eggshells and what I like to do got a couple more in here is I'll fill it with water and um, I let them soak in there, you know, for the remainder of the day. And in the evening is when I typically um, empty out my scraps into my um, compost bin. So I just let them soak in there in the antibacterial um, soap and just kind of leave them in there for a little while just so that they can soak. And once I've done that, um, before I put them in the compost bin, is I'll wash them with the water hose one more time you know rinse them outside and then I'll drop them in the compost bin but that's pretty much it and um, just to give you an idea of what today's and last night's uh, compost material consisted of um, this is this today's um, snacks. My grandson loves bananas, so I always um, save the peels, oranges, and then from last night we had um, rice with, um, well this is actually from a couple days ago, ago. Um, celery. We've got, these are oranges that were not eaten. Um, garlic, skin, um, zucchini, ends. Um, here's uh, squash oranges we do eat a lot of mandarins and oranges so we do have a lot of those that compost um, but it's interesting because and you can put potato peels in here and things like that but the interesting thing is because we eat so many oranges is that when I'm mixing my compost I can it smells a lot like orange now as it breaks down of course um, it starts smelling more like soil, like very rich, clean soil. It's really wonderful. But anyhow, um, today I will be emptying this out. Now throughout the week, I just put it in a plastic bag and I collect them and then on the weekend I put it in my compost bin. But I hope this video helps. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. All kinds of gunkin. Um, give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe. Thank you.